This is the survey of the assassination scene. This is Elm Street, Houston Street, and Main Street. This is where Mr. Zapruder was standing. This is the sign that blocks the view of the president for a few seconds in the Zapruder film. This is the tree that blocks the view of the motorcade from the assassin's window for a few seconds. The window sill is 61 feet above the sidewalk, about 68 feet above this area where the president was shot in the neck, and 73 feet above this point where the president was shot in the head. The calculated distance from the windowsill to this area where the president was shot in the neck is about 180 feet. And to this point where the president was shot in the head, 265 feet. The car traveled about 85 feet between the two locations and decreased in elevation about five feet. The time span was between 4.8 and 5.6 seconds as determined by examination of the Zapruder film. The car was traveling about 11 miles per hour. With the camera facing straight ahead, we turn right off Main Street onto Houston Street and follow the motorcade route. The building in front of you is the Texas School Book Depository. We continue on Houston Street for one block and make a sharp turn to the left onto Elm Street. The black object you will see occasionally at the top of the picture is a hat that is being used to shade the camera lens. Shortly after we make the turn, you can see the sign that blocks the view of the president in Zapruder's movie. The entrance to the Texas School Book Depository is straight ahead. As we complete the turn onto Elm Street, we see the Stemmons freeway sign straight ahead. The tree blocks the view of the motorcade from the window in this area for a split second. In a moment, you will be able to see the curb through the underpass on the left that prohibits Main Street traffic from crossing Elm Street to enter the expressways. This curb continues past the entrances. Straight ahead, you can see the entrances to Stemmons and Thornton expressways. The motorcade turned right onto Stemmons expressway. From the main and Houston Street intersection, we will keep the camera on the window used by the assassin until after we have passed the location of the president's car at the time he was shot in the head. The assassin used the window on the far right, next to the top, on the same level as the oval-shaped windows. By using photographs taken seconds after the assassination, the position of the windows in the depository have been reconstructed. We lose the window for a second during a sharp turn from Houston Street to Elm Street. In a moment, you can see the tree blocking the view for a split second as we pass under it. The bullet that struck the president in the neck was fired shortly after the tree passes out of view. And the bullet that struck the president in the head was fired between 4.8 and 5.6 seconds later. The car traveled approximately 85 feet between the two shots.